This is the biggest beetle in the world. Wow. Yeah, Hercules beetle. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, what do? Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. I was just pricked by a beetle. Yes. <laughs> Jiminy Lee is the owner of Discovery Beetles. And yes, he says he is named after one of the most famous insects of all. Jiminy Cricket. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Jiminy loves beetles, especially the big ones. He's about to show me one he's bred himself, still in the pupa stage. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, it's undulating and it looks moist. Okay, not bad. This feels wrong. Despite the ick factor. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I can't handle it anymore, I can't. And the chaos energy. Who you like insects, Christy? I have to marvel at the amazing world of insects. They make up over 70% of all animals on Earth. Jesus. And while they're few people's favorite house guests, beetles and roaches may one day be the difference between life and death for disaster victims. Brace yourselves. When I was really little, like, I had a great fascination with bugs. Since working on this project, it kind of inspires some kid thing in you that's just like really fun to work with beetles. Lachlan, or Lockie Fitzgerald, is an honors student in biorobotics at the University of Queensland. Instead of building insect mimicking robots, he's harnessing millions of years of evolution by modifying the insects themselves. Can I introduce you to the darkling beetle and the giant burrowing cockroach, one of the world's largest native to Australia? And, in case you're wondering... No, nah, they definitely don't gross me out, no. <laughs> Lockie is working under Dr. T. Tang Vodon to help him fulfill his dream of an army of search and rescue cyborg insects. I think the Cockpost is an amazing platform for not only robotics, but also for biomechanics study because they can withstand a harsh condition. Tiny circuit boards are attached to the beetles in the form of an electronic backpack that can be controlled remotely. Here's how it works. First, the beetles get an ice bath as an anesthetic. Then, Lockie performs beetle surgery to attach the electronic backpacks. Just placing the PCB with double-sided tape onto the back of the insect. So, how do the beetles feel about all this? The science is out on whether or not they're actually conscious beings, but even after the surgery has done and we have been controlling them, they live just as long as any other insect in our aviary, I suppose you would call it. So I don't think they mind per se. Push them forward. Once plugged in, electrical pulses to the insect's antennae via the backpack tell it which direction to go. So we've connected the insect to the power source. We can see a left turn, a right turn, left turn. We'll see an increase in speed there, faster. The beauty of a biohybrid system is that only when it leaves the desired path that we want it to be on do we intervene. There is an ethical debate around using insects in this field of research, and Lockie understands why some people might have qualms about playing Frankenstein for science. I think it's a valid concern to have, but I think the potential for this technology to save lives in an urban disaster, it really outweighs any hesitancy you might have towards our fields. It's the insect's incredible agility and ability to adapt to any terrain that Lockie says gives them an edge over robotics in search and rescue. We see a future where after an urban disaster where humans can't safely access the disaster site, being able to send in a bunch of cyborg beetles to navigate the disaster zone quickly and efficiently, find the location of human survivors and report their position for a more effective search. The field of cyborg insects has actually been around for decades, but so far, Lucky says no one has mastered moving the beetles effectively. He's getting my gloves. And that's what this team is wow. working on. Some team has to be doing the work on things that might not seem realistic now, but in 20 years, 
could be groundbreaking. For these tiny tech hubs, the possibilities could be huge. I guess what excites me is the potential to even save one life with technology like this. Another controversial house guest, the spider. This may look more terrifying than life enhancing, but it's the unique movement of this creature and its many legs that's inspired another team from Korea's Keist University. This is the Karos H, a robot that walks, flies, makes a lot of noise, and sometimes falls down. Whoa, whoa. Okay, take two. So that is actually inspired from the nature. So if you, you think about the spider, it can navigate through some walls using its own legs. These students have designed a robot that can reach places others can't. Okay, so this is the Keros H. This is your team's creation, and it yep. looks just like a spider. Well, actually, it's inspired from the insect, so it has six legs. Why does it have six legs? Six legs give this robot a quite a high stability while walking on the wall or on the ground. It's in prime position. It's ready to rip. It's alive! That was incredible! That was a thrill to watch, really. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bravo, guys. At least it worked quite well, so it's quite promising. Let's fly it again. I just want to watch it again. Okay, okay. The students studied how insects land on a surface to mimic how the drone could perch. Bottom legs first. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It is so ready to move. Oh. When you see it move around like that, does it make you feel like, you know, it's a little bit creepy? Well, yep. We also get the feeling quite a lot when we experience this. It's part of the mission of this lab to build a future where technology makes life better. It can be expanded to a lot of different works, like cleaning the walls or cleaning the solar panels or inspecting the airplanes. For all these students in search of solutions, testing, trial and error, and teamwork have helped them overcome the challenges to create cutting edge technology and find new ways nature and its creatures, great and small, can inspire innovation.